no! He turned the music off because I was getting into it. Oh my god! Call me Haymaker! Always going big! Yeah, you know the kid! Call me Haymaker! 95 or 95! Ah! No pictures, please. Hour and a hour and a half to go to Kyle's house, which should be 15 minutes, because he lives in the boonies. Oh, that was game time. What's up, guys? Welcome to our powerlifting walkthrough. We're just waiting to weigh in. Yesterday we saw it a bit. We're cutting weight not because we need to, out of experimentation. We're gonna talk about a bit about that more later. For now, we're just gonna huck the football a bit, wait out traffic, then we're gonna go weigh in. <laughs> that was it. A little football to get warmed up, lose a couple extra pounds, get that sweat. <laughs> so much football, I feel like Russell from Alpha Lead. Alright, so we're a little dehydrated, we're on our way to the weigh-in. So basically what we did to get ready for this is, since we didn't cut a ton of water, basically we started with about the Sunday, today is Friday, the Sunday we had, I believe I had 6 liters, Kyle had 6 liters, the next day, Monday, we had 8 liters each, then we both had 10 liters Tuesday, while I had 10, Kyle had 8. So basically what that does is you're just stocking your body up with water and getting it really good at excreting that water as fast as possible. So you want to be peeing like crazy, you have a ton of sodium, you're just filling yourself up. Then that brings us to the next day, Wednesday, we had 4. 4 liters of water, so you're cutting it down. Even though you're having way less, you're still peeing it out right away. Then even yesterday, we had 2 liters, and you pee out that 2 liters so fast, you get it all out of your system, crushing it gone. And that's basically how you cut water weight, quote unquote. So now, today, we've had no water. We're really excited to get some water back in us. Uh, if you guys really want to cut weight harder, though, you can hop in the sauna for a bit. We saunaed yesterday for about 25, 30 minutes. You can always do that a bit more, be a little more drastic. You don't want to hurt yourself. I recommend ice cubes the day before. That's my little water spiel, but we'll catch up with you guys on the way in. Cherry Coke. Oh, OPP. Something big. Oh my goodness, you went into our lane. How? Here, wait, wait for this guy. Success is near and I can taste it. Nothing was ever given, I had to take it. Oh my, wow, that is scary. What? Holy crap. Oh my, that's a car. Look at this truck too. Those are all cars. Dude, five people must have like died. Oh, that is scary. Dang, that looks scary, man. That's why you always gotta leave early. It's nice that we're actually not in a rush. Drive safe, no, no texting. Texting, drive, eyes on the road. So basically the truck that was full of stuff like tipped over the barrier into the other side and it like looked like some cars got set on fire and were like squished to oblivion and if you can see like it's terrifying. Yeah, it hit a bunch of other cars like there was like a huge mess. I don't even know how that's possible though. Like oh my goodness. Never get my Let's go. Hey puppy. <laughs> First thing that happens when we walk in here. <laughs> Mascot? Yeah, he stays here all day every day. Really? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, we do we go up there? Yeah. 
you're at 96.1, which, which is 211.8. Uh, let's try to get Wilkes a bit better. <laughs> yep. 78.5. Okay. Finally. Oh, that's clutch. So generally what a lot of people like to do is four days out, they'll eat 100% of their carbs. Three days out, they'll cut it by 25%, so they'll be eating 75% of their carbs. Carbs, And then the next day, they'll have 50%. And then the day after, they'll be eating only 25% of their carbs. So what we're doing right now is we just weighed in. I weighed in at 173 pounds, Josh was 211. So we're gonna slowly eat a lot of carbs. We don't wanna like eat too much and just like make ourselves feel like crap. So we'll have some pancakes, um, some potatoes, and then we'll see what else the day holds. So we didn't go as aggressive as that. We went about, we took off about 5% the first day, 10% the second, and 15 the third. Thank you. So yeah, you can do it smaller than that, but we went a little bit. We didn't have to lose the weight, so whatever. Kyle feels awkward filming you in here. You filming you? Okay. Alright, so here's what macros are going to be like after we crush this breakfast. We got 48 protein, 183 carbs, a bunch of fiber, I don't even know how. And then we got about 36 fat. We hit that from having chocolate chip pancakes, bread, rye bread, home fries. And right after weigh-in, we crushed the combat crunch bar. Alright, so I weighed in at 173, Josh weighed in at 211, so 748. Now it's time to carve up. So the body can only actually have a liter of water an hour, so you want to introduce it slowly along with the food. If you're starving yourself, you're not eating much, you're tapering your carbs, and you introduce a bunch, it's going to be really hard. So you just want to get back into it, and then we're going to have a bigger lunch in a couple of hours. How you feeling, bro? I'm ready, man. Let's get it. <clears throat> How much more did I pay? What do you get in there, big guy? Uh, I'm, I'm getting monsters. <laughs> Yo, we out here still, what you saying though? So honestly, I never shop at GNC and this is something that Josh actually taught me. You don't buy from there unless it's like close to expiry date. So I bought a bunch of these like Oh Yeah bars and then Quest bars. Look at that. For how much? You got like, you got 15 bars for like 20 bucks. It's yeah, crazy. so it's the, they say it's like 75% off um, when it's like one month from expiry. So instead of paying like a crazy amount of money, just do that. Mark Lobliner owns MTS Nutrition and he said realistically they just have to put it there to be very safe and usually they're good a year past expiry, so you guys are fine. A year and a half oh, after so expiry. What's meal uh, number two? Meal number two is a nice burrito. What's this place called again? What is it? Barberito. Uh, ah, Barberito. Barberito, so. It's just a classic burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat like any other day. Touchdown in the hotel. We are, I don't know, days in or some crap. Yep. So first things first, big thing of aminos, getting rehydrated. This is only four scoops. Too much will blow you like a whale. We went to posing one time, had a ton of aminos, and it did not feel good. But we got four scoops of our favorite aminos. Right here we got Beyond BCA, EHP Labs. This stuff's bank. If you want 10% off, we got a code clause, it's 10. We got essentials, we got our shoes, singlets. Um, over here, got my Fitmark bag, the shield. Packed all my stuff on camo, some samples. Loaded up in the fridge, and then uh, I think Kyle's got a few words for y'all. So this is how you pack your meal prep bag. This is what it looks like. Got a little bit of fruits. Next, we've got two containers of chalk. Not one, two containers. You gotta be safe. Two packs of beef jerky. Oh, three packs of beef jerky. Oh, I didn't even know you had that. That is essential, get your protein in. Um, and then I've got a banana. Now this is the main part. Sour Patch Kids. This is something Max and I think Maddie keeps talking about in their videos, so. Figured I'd give them a shot. 
We've got the, our pill case, and then just the classic uh, Asian blend. We've got some veggies and some chicken. Me and Kyle took a very different route. If you guys want to see what I packed, I packed three bananas, Put them two fruit, fridge. two fruit cups. Then this is 100 grams of chicken with pasta. I got four of these for the next two days. Some advice for you guys is eat like it's a normal day. You don't want to go out experimenting with a bunch of different foods that you're not used to. Eat like you normally do. The candy's really good in between lifts. That's how we do. Run far. Oh, man. Oh. Did you hear a shock? <laughs>